Good morning to everybody. On behalf of the Estonian Academy of Arts, I would like to say welcome to all of you here in our new premises. We are really happy to have uh, finally our new home because it has been a quite a saga until this uh, building uh, has been completed. Uh, inside the Estonian art circles, there has been a lot of hesitations. Is this a good location for an art academy in Tallinn? But uh, Tallinn cultural geography has changed and uh, we are proud to be an agent in this change. Um, this northern part of Old Town he has historically been called Kalamaja and it has been the oldest of Tallinn medieval suburbs, what was mainly inhabited then by Estonian and Swedish fishermen while the Germans were living in, behind the um, wall in Old Town. Uh, and of course, later, during the latest centuries, it just uh, became a working class suburb uh, without no zoning, and it, it meant that several factories are also here. Uh, and uh, that's why we are one, one in the row of art schools which has found its new home in a former factory. Uh, this uh, part behind me is listed as a monument, and this is a 1920s uh, stockings factory, uh, built, uh, designed by well-known Estonian architect Eugen Habermann, the same architect who designed our parliament. Uh, and if you look at it, it's some modernist is knocking on the door, but, he, but uh, he still has some touch of early 1920s expressionism with these uh, specific uh, window shapes. Uh, but the rest of the building is, is this wing and this wing. These are from the Soviet period when it was much bigger stockings factory uh, in, uh, and called then the Punane Koit, the red uh, sunset. Hey opposite to sunset, dawn, yeah. Uh, and in the middle, where we are now, uh, is a new uh, uniting part, uh, which, uh, which, which is completely new, but here we have all these, uh, um, all, uh, all the functions which, which are for the whole building, the Aula Magna, okay, it is possible to call this room also so, if we want to be very academic. Behind me is a gallery. Uh, today there will be opening of uh, our master student uh, Erin Cox uh, jewelry exhibition. You are all welcome to see the opening. Under you is a mensa or cafeteria. And uh, up of you in, here in the central part, you find all the auditoria and the drawing and painting classes which serve the whole academy, because all these three old wings, these are, sorry to say, they are closed for you, because the people are working in studios, in workshops, and there is complicated machinery, not to mention that uh, we what our uh, jewelers work, but don't go to uh, search for a real brilliance. <laughs> uh, you are part of... Uh, our discovery of the opportunities the new building offers us. Uh, we have not discovered yet everything in this building. Of course, we have uh, had here a lot of very different activities. Just uh, yesterday late night in here in this auditorium ended a lecture by world famous uh, architecture theoretician Mark Wigley uh, the guy who uh, conceived together with Philip Johnson the term deconstructivism in 1988 and a long time uh, dean of the architecture school at Columbia University and oh, it was a fantastic performance here yesterday. He started at six and he didn't stop until nine o'clock. 
Uh, but, uh, but of course, lectures are something which is typical for the universities, but also the endless music festivals, uh, different kind of conferences. Uh, for the first time, we had, for example, in this building, uh, the, the, the faculty meeting of the whole academy on open-air terrace, uh, which is uh, quite unusual in the Estonian climate. So in Mediterranean, I understand that these universities quite often work in open-air conditions, but in the Nordic climate, it's quite uh, extraordinary. So be part of uh, discovering the new possibilities of our, our building. Uh, discover the fantastic uh, surroundings, what do we have? Because I think that uh, if this Kalamaya is a region which has uh, um, been the most uh, gentrified district uh, in Tallinn, but for an art academy it has its pluses and minuses. Because uh, if you are surrounded by hipsters, okay, they are good clients for your design and architecture students. And uh, the, the workplaces of uh, advertising companies and architecture offices and film studios which are here, yes, they are mainly uh, populated by our alumni. But at the same time, it means that um, the, the rent here so in the next blocks is uh, too expensive for real art students. And the fine art students consider it already overdeveloped. And uh, they, uh, they search for a more wild surroundings. But uh, uh, let's think so that uh, the Tallinn is not yet over-gentrified and the Kalamaya region and northern Tallinn still offers a lot of uh, developed and a lot of alternative undeveloped spaces. All, all they are in our disposal. So I wish you good luck for the festival. Thank you.